How's everybody doing? I got this Mac 1010. It's a running saw. I have started it. Uh, I've never put it in wood. The oiler is not doing anything. Now, I plan on pulling the whole saw down, going over it, doing a little port work to it. Nothing crazy, but I want to do a test cut beforehand and the oiler's not working. So I'm just going to take a chance that I can hit. I got the front of it apart. You can't really see it. So I got the front of it apart. I'm going to take a chance. There's a clog in, in the line here. I'm just going to squirt some card cleaner up there and see if it's enough. Um, if it doesn't work, oh well, I'm going to run it anyway. We'll deal with the oiler later. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to give this a try and see what happens. Uh, probably going to squirt myself. Boy, that made a difference. Already. Let me do that again. Boy, I wonder if that did it. I'll try it again. Do you see it? Watch. See it? It wouldn't do that before. Maybe that was all it needed. Shove this screen back in. I've had this apart like this for a while. Just been kind of procrastinating, working on my home lights, you know. I only own three McCulloughs. I got this 10, this 1010, I got a Pro Max 610, and I got another Pro Max 610 for parts. But that's it. Had these pieces sitting here for a while. I'm going to run it and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not a big deal. I'm going to be tearing this all down here later anyway. You know, just depends on how many cuts I make really. Might just pour some bar oil on the chain every now and again to get a couple of cuts in. Just curious to see how it runs right now. Uh, like I know the carburetor is good enough to get it started, but I don't know if it's going to pull. If it, I don't even know if it, how it's going to work. It could have issues. I just know it starts. I was missing the uh, oil fill cap right here. And I discovered that the oil fill cap off of a home light zip is exactly the same. Screws right on. No problem. I don't have any oil down here to fill it. So we'll just wait. Let me see if I can locate what I need here to put the starter on. I'm just trying to get it good enough to give it a test run. So I need some before and after work. I gotta find one, two, three, four screws for it. Yeah, I do now this thing. This thing has problems with the trigger lock. So there's no high idle on it. Oh, it looks like there might be an adjustment screw in there. I'm not familiar with these saws. Yep, there is. Well, we can take care of that. But it looks like it might be ran all the way up already.
Ah, uh, there's a little room. I'll leave a go at that. Now, now this all has a leaky fuel tank. You know, it's got issues, but for tomorrow, or, but for the test run, it's good enough, you know? So we're gonna go with it as is and see what happens. So I just realized I don't have an air filter for this 1010. So, I think I'm just going to take a piece of scotch bright and trim it out. At least I'll have something for now. I'm not going to run it a lot. But it'll at least give me something for now, you know? Question is going to be how, how much do I need to trim? Watch bright air filter. <laughs> I've never done this before. Looks like it'll work. You know, looks like it'll work. Good enough for now. Hey, okay. there we go. We'll go with that. That's my first Scotch Bright air filter. <laughs> Part of me wants to see if it'll pop. Part of me does. What do you think? Should we do it? Everybody's asleep. Let's see what happens. There's a pop. Alrighty, we'll go with that. We're going to run her. So, and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a fun solve for me, you know, but, uh, I think I'll uh, catch you on the next one guys and, uh, talk to you later. Alrighty.